hello welcome to my video in this video i want to explain about scrapping again but this time the barrier is different in my previous video i already explained about what if when we scrapping we against the barrier like login pack or ses or cookie session and others this time this is different okay this time <coughs> consider you want to scrap the web that have uh, real-time data like this and then let's see what if we call this call As you can see here, we can get the data in the source page. What we get is only some JavaScript. Yeah, this is literally 90% JavaScript. But look here. Looks like the JavaScript here produce the data that we can see here. And then, as you know, there are two techniques to update the data in the web page without refresh. One is through AJAX, and the second is WebSocket. And for this, this web is using WebSocket. Oh yeah, this web is the the mini web that I'm using for this video okay and look at here looks like the web in here localhost 8080 to get the data it's access the the all here let's see what if we call this as you can see it's not using HTTP but WS. WS is a web socket. Oh, we can get we can get the data using code. Looks like web socket is not supported. Let's see in the developer tool. Oh yeah. To analyze using the flopper tool, you must refresh it first. And this is the network, and then the data is here. We can see the data that enter the web browser that we open here is the streaming is here. And now, and now the question is, if the call is not working, what tool that we can use to scrap this? And the answer is, we will be using VS Cat. This tool is, to install this tool, you must use NPM like this. NPM is the literally like uh, not pack manager in python this is like a pip so install this you using npm install vs cat i follow this tutorial to install okay now how to use this vs cat to get the data to use that we just literally do it like this let's say real time header copy value and then paste see we can get the data let's see this
now you may be asked that when you want to grab the data you want to like you want to push it in the text file right so here i already have the script to get the data so the vs cat uh, i don't know if this web socket this web socket is uh, wrapping for vs cat or not but if you want to use python you can using this web socket module so this is the function yeah let's see let's use this script open the connection and then the data will be saved in here see it's interested over time but you know that in this data we get the number right so the best practice is not using it like this but Okay, let's close it. The best practice is let's do it like this. So we can get the separator. So the number will be not mixed like this. Let's running again. Yeah. Look. And then that's it. How you how to scrap the web pack that is that have a uh, some real time data like this and it's using web socket maybe in the next video i will explain to you what if the webpack using the ajax actually when the webpack using ajax it's more easier to scrap the data you can just use call like usual okay see you in the next video